My name is Joe. These are opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today I'm talking about the top five records from Sturgill Simpson. Joe Opinionated list. Now Sturgill planned on making five records. He put out five records. Might be done. He said never say it's over till it's over kind of thing. But we might only get five Sturgill Simpson records. He's kind of set out what he, like the theme for each record was. I'll kind of, I'll try to mention those as I go along. Top five Sturgill Simpson records, and I'm not including. Sorry, I'm also not going to include the Cutting Grass uh, Bluegrass albums. They'll probably be number one and two on my list. If, if I'm being completely honest with you, just because they're kind of greatest hits of Sturgill Simpson. I can't think of another artist where I really wanted them to make a bluegrass record out of all their records, but it really does work. Sturgill kind of grew up in bluegrass and said that he was thinking bluegrass when he was writing all the songs, and it's pretty apparent once you hear him on the bluegrass records. Top five Sturgill Simpson albums. Number five, the 2021 release. The Dude and Juanita. Bottom of my list, I gotta admit, I listened to it the least of the of the five studio records. Dude and Juanita refers to his grandparents. Theme of the album is Absolution or uh, Returning to the Light. Favorite track is the track Sam about his dog or about somebody's dog. Maybe it's Dude, his grandpa, his papa's name is Dude. Number four on my list of best albums, Sturgill Simpson, Joe Opinionated list. We've got his first album, 2013's High Top Mountain. 2013's High Top Mountain, produced by Dave Cobb, Nashville. The first two records were produced by Dave Cobb. This is his first big album. Highlight tracks for me, Some Days, uh, You Can Have the Crown. Number four on the Joe Opinionated list, High Top Mountain. Number three on the Joe Opinionated list, Sturgill Simpson best records. I've got 2016's A Sailor's Guide to Earth. My least favorite song on the album is actually the cover of Nirvana's In Bloom. It's not a bad song. I just prefer Nirvana's more. This is a great record. Sturgill mention, mentions quite a bit that he loves uh, Marvin Gaye. Highlights are definitely sea stories, brace for impact. I'm sure every record after this one is produced by Sturgill. Number two on my list of top five Sturgill Simpson records, 2019 Sound and Fury. This album came out 2019 and this is the one that has a Netflix anime special as it comes with a movie that you, if you have Netflix, kind of reminds me of ZZ Top. It's number two on my list. My favorite song on this album is Mercury in Retrograde. Make Art Not Friends is, is, is up there as well. But if you watch the, the Netflix special, you probably get an idea for that as well. Big surprise, number one on my list of Sturgill Simpson albums is Meta Modern Sounds and Country Music. I mean, there's a lot of country sounds. It's produced by Dave Cobb from Nashville, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a straightforward country record. A bit more of a hat tip to the outlaw movement in the 70s. Meta Modern Sounds and Country Music also discusses, you know, modern issues. And uh, it's probably his most complete record, Meta Modern Sounds. If you're looking for an album to jump into, uh, Sturgill Simpson picked this one first. Got all the hits on it, got a lot of hits on it. I've also got the link to the playlist, tops 20 songs of Sturgill Simpson and, and these albums as well. So check in the description below for that. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Sorry, we're low on facts, high on opinions. Take care.